I muted myself, share screen. Okay, Britt, can you see my screen? Yep, it looks great. Perfect, yay. Always a little scary. Oh, do you think we should start? Go ahead and start, Michelle. Okay, well, I'm giving the go. I guess you're going to tape this. Okay, well, I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, our Blue Jeans orientation on plagiarism and library services. These are different times we're in that right now, and we're having to do things differently in the library as well, unlike everywhere else. Uh, so this is the first of our orientations. We have several that you can attend. Um, everyone has been muted. Uh, and that, that stops the extra static and all that and background noise. If you have any questions, if you could go on the right-hand side and up at the top, you can see chat. And if you click on that, you can see I've already started a couple chats. Um, just to let you know my email address, if anybody has any questions or anything, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, and then the other one is for your student card, if you are new to the college, you will need to send a selfie in um, to either your front desk or registration. And uh, then you'll have to contact the library to actually activate it. So I've given you a library uh, email address, library at coastmountaincollege.ca, and that's where you can uh, send your name and student number, and we will put you in the system and send you everything you need. Okay. So... We'll get started, and basically, I'm going to go to the library webpage, and we're basically going to go through all the different things you can find there. So if you click on library, oh, sometimes we have to have patience. Okay. So this is our um, library website, and there's very many things that we can do here and research. I'll go through a few of these. One search basically searches the catalog, which is below, as well as articles. So if you were to do a search in here, you'd get both books and DVDs from the catalog, as well as articles from databases. Hence the one search. Uh, the catalog is basically just our books and DVDs as well as online books. I'll just go through a few things here. So basically we're going to look at interlibrary loans, our databases, how to avoid plagiarism by citing your sources, I'll go briefly on uh, evaluating websites. How do you know um, which ones you can trust? And then we'll look at the research guides. So that's the game plan. Now, one thing to keep in mind is normally when I do these classes, I'm doing a history 210 or I'm doing a 
Anthropology 105, or it's very specific to a topic. Whereas with you guys, you guys are all over the map. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some searches, and you're basically just going to have to um, change the keywords to suit what you're looking for, whether it be biology or anthropology or business or human resources. So I'm going to first show you the uh, one search. And uh, just got to get my paper here. Okay. So you're going to find all these interfaces look the same. There's going to be a place to type your keywords in and then a place to click search. There is other things that we can do here. We can just look for full text articles, uh, peer-reviewed articles, uh, et cetera. Okay, so I'm just going to do a search here. And like I said, I was doing a couple anthropology classes. And we were doing anthropology. So you're basically just typing in your key terms and clicking on search. And like I said, this is going to be a mishmash of uh, books and videos and DVDs. Probably not videos, but streaming videos as well as the article. So basically research and doing a paper, I would want to have a specific topic within Hawaiian anthropology. So I would want to add some more key terms to that. But I just want to show you how this works. No, oh, I went too far. OK. So we do have full text open access. So I, you just click on that, and the article will be there. Um, just or as that full text. I'm just looking to see. Okay, so something like this, um, where it's not available full text anywhere, what we'd have to do is do an interlibrary loan. Now, at this time, and this might change next week, but we're just doing um, articles and that type of thing. We're not doing physical items. But like I said, we're, we're living in a fluid situation right now. And I would expect that would change probably in September. Okay, so PDF article. So here's a full text article. We just click on it. Oh, my. Okay, I can log in. So if you are off campus, you will have to log in with your computer network, username, and password. Okay, so I log in. We get charged for these databases, and it's basically per student. Um, so that's why only students are allowed to access this material, and that's why you have to use your credentials. Okay, so here. And I didn't look, I, like I said, I'm really not looking at content at this point. I just want to show you the process. So this is actually a book review. So if you wanted to use this in the paper, you'd actually want to go to the book, not just the review. Um, yeah, you want the original in your hand. But sometimes what these things can be useful for is to look at the references. And sometimes, then you could go find that book or that article and use it. But you cannot, you would not be able to use a book review. But if this was an article, and over here on the right-hand side, we have different options. So you could print it. You can email it to yourself. And then this is quite 
an interesting feature in that site. <coughs> so as we'll further discuss about plagiarism and how not to, this is the way you not, is you cite your material, and there are different ways to cite it. You can see some of them up here. American Psychological Association, and actually the MLA, Modern Language Association. Those two are the main ones that we use at the college and probably the ones you'll be asked to use as well. So if we are doing MLA, we would just that, copy and paste this into a Word document. Now, because this is generated, Take a very close look and just make sure they haven't done a typo or done something wrong within it. Can't trust everything you read. Okay, so then I'm going to close that. I have my citation. I've emailed it to myself or I've printed it. The one thing you do not want to go do is have to go back and find the article again. I don't know. It seems that things mysteriously disappear. Okay, so that's an article. So I'm going to go back actually to my result list. And again, these are a combination of everything. Um, just going to go through here and see if I can see. Okay. So sometimes you do have a choice between the PDF and the HTML. With the PDF, you need the Adobe Acrobat Reader, and with HTML, you don't. <laughs> and if we click on this, I'll just show you the difference. In the um, PDF article we saw before, it still retained its columns, and uh, it looked like it had been scanned in. This looks like it's been retyped in. Everything is lost as far as um, the columns. If there's any photographs, they won't be included. Any graphs. Oh, here's a table. Oh, and there is a. So um, depending on what your article is, one might be better, easier to read than the other. The other nice thing about this one is you can actually listen to it. So you have your choice of an American, an Australian, or a British accent. Okay, I'm going to go back up. Again, on the right here, we have the same options that we did before. Print, email, again, the site. So it basically looks pretty much the same. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back. And here I am back at my list. So sometimes it says return to list. Sometimes you have to hit the internet go back button. But some, yeah, just look around and see what it is. Okay, well, I think that looks like I'm not finding any books here, which was the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, but we will see that in the catalog. Okay, are there any questions about OneSearch? Nothing in chat? Okay, well, I will just, I'll point out one thing over here on the right. We'll see this quite often um, throughout this morning. And Ask Away is a chat service where you would be speaking with a librarian. So if you're doing any research or reference, um, you'd be able to get on here, chat with the librarian. It might not be me. It might not be one of your uh, Coast Mountain College librarians, but it will be a librarian in the province. So they have access to everything and would be able to answer your questions. Hi, Michelle. It's Brittany. There is a question in the chat from Manpreet. Um, they're just wondering if you could please repeat the initial step of how to reach this this uh, 
web page that you're on currently. Okay, I will. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to, so this is the library web page, and in order to get to that, I went to the home page, and I went up here to library. So if you click on that link, it'll bring you to the library web page, and then you'll have all these options. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave the one search. And again, this is one thing you guys are going to have to explore on your own. Um, because like I said, I'm covering, everybody's taking something different. I can't tailor it to your specific topic or your course. Okay, so the catalog. So usually when I do this, I do see books, but I didn't. <laughs> in the one search which is a little unusual okay so the catalog so these are all our books dvds online resources online books uh so let me look at human resources i know there's going to be some people in business so let's just do a search and see what we find and the easy thing with this is it's you can change the term so quickly change the spelling <laughs> okay so this is our catalog you can see up top here we can just look for video or uh, photo search we can do an ebook search Okay, so I'm just looking at this catalog and it found 62 titles, it tells me up here. Again, we see our Ask Away on the right, that'll open September 8th. So if you have anything you can ask, if it's on the weekend, you're at home, it's I believe available evenings and weekends. Okay, so I'm just seeing a lot of online access here again. Oh, here we go. I found a book. So um, if you find a book, there's, um, you can click on the title and it'll give you more information. Uh, we all know we can't judge a book by its title. <laughs> so this gives you the basic information, um, almost what you'd need for your citation. The title, the author, the publisher, when it was published. Those are the basics. Uh, as you can see, this book is on the Terrace campus. This is the call number. This is the address that we'd write down to go find it on the shelf. It tells you that we have one copy. It's a book, and it's in the C-CAN. So now without having contact, we're keeping our six feet different, or, you know, um, distance apart. We're not physically going to be opening the libraries um, for people to come in. We are looking at you guys placing holds on the books you want, and then we will call you or contact you through email, whatever you prefer, and we'll let you know the book's in, and then you will be able to come and pick it up. And that would go same with the Smithers and Rupert campuses as well. Now, if anyone is off campuses, away in the somewhere else, we could look at mailing things to you. Uh, of course, you guys would have to start things early in order to accommodate that. Now, like I said, without being able to see the book, sometimes it's hard to know if this is really what you want. But if we can go into full description, it gives a lot more detail. And it even has like the table of contents. So it's almost like you're looking at the book itself. And then the other thing I wanted to point out here, um, I didn't in the articles in the OneSearch, and it basically has the same thing. Anything in blue is a hyperlink. 
So if I decided I didn't care if it was Canadian, I just wanted uh, person personnel management anywhere, I could click on that and just books with that would come up. Same as if I decided, oh, I've heard of this author, I want to see if he's written anything else. You can click on that and any other books by him would come up. Okay, so how do we place holds? Okay, I'm going to show you one way. There's two different ways. The first way is here on the left. If you find an item you want, you can click on Request Loan. And you would have to put in your library card number or your student number. And then we give you a secret Heidi PIN number. And that you would have to contact the library if you don't know what it is. Or again, if this is your first year and you're not registered with the library. Uh, choose the campus you want it picked up at. We also have a mail it to me. Um, and then you would just request loan. Okay. I'm going to go back. Now, the one thing in our catalog, you have to make sure to use this go back button. If you use this go back button, you're going to go out of the catalog and out of the program. Okay. I've, I, you usually do it once a day, but that's okay. Okay. And this is how another way that you can place your holds if you're doing you're doing a research session and you're gonna you're planning on spending an hour with the catalog and finding everything you can and you don't want to request book by book. We have one up here that you're basically signing on as yourself and you're logging into your account. So if I put my number in here. And yes, unfortunately, these numbers are fairly lengthy. Um, part of the reason is the first numbers are our institution code. And that way, uh, we know everybody who starts with this number is our student and not from another institution. I put my PIN number that the library gave me, and I can log into my account. Actually, going to save that. <laughs> so now it says, Welcome Michelle up here. I'm just going to do a. It's my go to search. It's only four letters. I tend not to spell it wrong. Uh, if I were to, oh, I can't do an online book. Everything's online. Go to page four. Holy wow. I guess I didn't do a very good. Okay. And I'm going to, if you do a search like that, and um, I can actually limit my search. So I can add fish and I'll just do Smithers. Then we should come up with a, maybe a book. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, just looking. I know these are actually reports, but that's okay. I'm going to click on it. Oh. I don't think these are holdable. <laughs> if you come across anything that is kind of strange, this is the Bulkley Moore, Maurice Watershed Library. Contact me and we'll uh, see what we can do. I'm just going to go back and do a new search. Let's do Terrace. Okay, there we go. Book, book, book. Oh, five year, year educational plan. I have a feeling we can't place holds on books in storage. And again, this is actually good. I'm showing you all these anomalies that I'm finding. If you find something that you want and it says storage, 
again, email us and we'll uh, try to figure out. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can find that is not in storage. Oh, here's one. It's in the juvenile collection, but again, there we go. Request loan. That's what I was looking for. So with this, it's just asking me the campus because it already knows that it's Michelle. It knows my library card number and it knows my PIN number. So I would again pick my campus and then request loan. Are there any questions on our catalog? And I should mention that we, we do ship books, so if you found something in Rupert, we will send it to Smithers or Terrace and vice versa. Hi, Michelle. It's Britt again. Yeah. I'm just pulling from the chat here. We have a couple questions. Uh, let's see here. So there's just a couple concerns about uh, from students who aren't studying in Canada about how they're going to um, get the books to them because they're not wanting it to negatively affect their studies. I, to tell you the truth, I don't know if we would be able to ship overseas. I will certainly look into that. That's the first, like I, that's the first time this has come up um, as far as overseas go. Now, my concern with that is also the time frame. I don't know how long it takes to ship uh, and whether we could do that. The one thing we do have quite a few of, I'm going to show you next the databases and you would see that um, we do have quite a bit of material that is digital. So everybody overseas would have access to that, as well as our ebooks and our um, that online access materials as well. Can I get the student? Oh, yeah. Can I get the student? Oh, I'll get it at the end from you, Britt, if I could. I'll get the student's name and be in contact with them. Is there anything else? Nope, that was the main question just from a couple students. Okay, if there's more than one student, um, we'll figure it out and somehow let them know. Okay. Okay. Somebody must have, because if one's over, they'd, they'd all like to know, I'm sure. That makes sense. Okay, so that is the way we will be circulating our materials. And I'm going to go back to, oh, I always do not like that. Okay, so we are going to leave the one search in the catalog behind. And again, we're going to go to more of the digital sources. So again, this would be available from anywhere. So databases A to Z. So these are a list of all the databases that we subscribe to. And you will see it is very numerous. I'll just wait for the list to come up. Okay, here we go. Okay. So some of them are very broad in nature. Academic Search Complete is often a database I do a demonstration of, and I will today. Um, so it covers everything from anthropology to zoology and everything in between. And then we have some really specific databases, um, like this All Data Collision, which deals with automotive information. Okay. And you see the next one below, Anatomy TV. So if you're doing anything in biology, this would be a database you want to check out. And then there's some things that aren't obvious. This Aurora. If you click on more, it'll tell you more information about it. So Aurora is actually the library 
and archives Canada's catalog. Okay, so if you're not sure, you can just click on it. And you can see why we're just getting through the A's. And uh, so, yeah, they're very hard to demonstrate all of these. But you can see we have uh, physical examination, so nursing students, EC archives, uh, history, archaeology, uh, building code for the trades, uh, BC laws for um, criminology. BC plumbing code. So again, you can just see there's there's something for everyone. But again, I'll have to let you uh, look at these on your own. But if I show you how one works, they all work basically the same. So here's another one you business students will be using, and that's Business Source Premier. Just on an aside, I'd use this one, not the custom interface. It's really nice with the databases that they all have that same feel, and then somebody goes and customizes it, and you can't figure it out. Uh, BC Campus is our NFB films. Climate, Canadian Encyclopedia. I can go on. Like, again, we're just in the seas. But in the seas, there is something I want to show you guys. So. Throughout the term, you have hectic schedules. Sometimes you need a break from your studies and just get your mind off everything. And here is one place that you can do that. This is Criterion On Demand. And uh, it is basically a database of feature films that you can view. So uh, the only thing I believe is it has to be on a laptop or a computer and not a cell phone. But we can go to comedy. You can see they have all different genres. And there is a myriad video. Okay, I'm going to go back because I take a break from uh, our studies sometimes. Okay, and I'm at the C's. I'm just looking at the time here. You're going to have to, well, no, we're doing fine. Uh, so, D dictionaries, uh, economist, historical archives. I'm just trying to show you something for everyone. This is our own Frida D. Singh School of Northwest Coast Art Collection. So these are our own uh, students' work. Geoscan for geography. So again, you can just, I'm only at the L's. I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. Statistics, if you're having to do that. Um, looking for a thesis. They're online. And here we are, Workplace, Workplace, Work BC Explore Careers. And then we have several newspapers and periodicals, UK periodicals. So that is a huge number of databases. But if you have any problems navigating or um, any issues, just contact me and we'll figure it out together. Okay, so this is Academic uh, Search Premier or Elite. Keeps changing its name. Uh, but this is the database that covers absolutely everything. And again, this acts the same as our one search, basically. Looks a little different. We are using Boolean phrases. That's where we can add and, or, or not. If you want to narrow your topic, keep adding terms. If you want to broaden your topic, if you're not find anything, um, often with First Nations, uh, yeah, the names, uh, Kasan, Gitsan, there's many different spellings for them. So you can actually use or in between them, and then you'll capture more. 
Uh, not if you're looking for Blue Jays, baseball, not birds. Uh, but normally that's how most of our uh, searches work. Ah, so here, and I want to show you something. See, I've, you can tell I've been doing a lot on Hawaii. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, show you H-A-W-A-I-I. -I. Um, we did this same search on one search, and I want to show you the same one with just the articles. Oh, what did I do? Oh, okay. Ology. If uh, if nothing comes up, check the spelling. There's often a spelling mistake. There we go. An anthropology. So, like I said, I must have spelt something wrong if nothing came up. So here it found 446 articles. Uh, so here, uh, this one we'd have to do an interlibrary loan on. There is a request button there. Uh, next one's PDF full text. We looked at those. Another PDF. So let me just click on this. And again, sometimes we just have to be patient. Okay. So this is almost like it, it more in depth. Um, gives you Yeah, you can top. Has our source, so Oceana is the name of the journal. The name of the article is a tectonics of Hawaiian onoclasm and its aftermath. So again, some other topics that they've included here. Okay. to come up with some other terms that you might want to be looking for. And again, over here on the right, we have the exact same email site. Kinds of get repetitious after a while, but that's nice because you feel comfortable with using it because you know how it works. Okay, are there any questions on the databases? Michelle, it's Britt again. Esther, you guys will be able to explore um, your specific topics on your own. And again, if Okay, so... We're back at the library again. I'm going to kind of skip over some of these. I see I only have like 15 minutes left. <laughs> but these other ones go fairly quickly because we kind of done now. So plagiarism. This is major, 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 you guys. You will get a zero on the end that have been plagiarized. And you, there are academic penalties. So it's really important uh, um, that you avoid plagiarism. Do not resubmit work that has already been submitted for another class. Um, do your work by yourself. Um, 
It has to be your own work. Now, when you're doing a research paper, though, or some kind of paper, you often have to use other people's ideas. You can't just make it up. So in order to do that, you are going to be using words and thoughts. And if you are going to use other people's words and thoughts, you have to give them credit. If you don't get them credit, then it's plagiarism. Now, I'm going to show you um, a video down here. I can't show it sessions. Uh, the video plays, but there's apparently the sound isn't good. So I'll let you guys look at this yourself, um, but it'll give you more insight into um, everything that can be considered plagiarism. Okay. So there's basically two ways that you can um, use somebody else's ideas. You can put them in your own words, or you can use quote them word for word. In that case, you need to use quotation marks, and you still need to cite it at the end. And I see even here, uh, this is a MLA handbook, and this is where they got this information from was the MLA book. So you do an in-text citation in brackets after the text. And then in your bibliography, you do a full works used, works cited. Okay. So those are basically the two ways that you're going to be referencing your work. Um, there is a little blurb on plagiarism. Again, you can see So I will leave you guys to go look at that on your own. Uh, we do have some examples. Whenever you see tabs, that means. Um, so again, just some samples of uh, different uh, ways of what examples it is and what isn't. Okay, I'll go back to the FAQs. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the next section on citations before I ask questions because it might answer a lot that you have right now. But I just wanted to introduce the idea of citing your sources and the in-text citations and then your work cited at the end or bibliography. Okay, I always end up with a million tabs open at the end of the year. Go back to the library webpage. So that's where that video is, is under avoiding plagiarism. So if you guys could go and take a look at that, I think it'll uh, make things a little clearer. So here we are citing our sources. And again, patience. <laughs> So again, uh, as I mentioned, there's many ways of citing. Your instructor uh, will tell you which way they want it done. Uh, so here we have three of the main styles that are used here at the college. But like I said, there are many, many more. Uh, APA style has a new edition. I don't like this guide, so I'm going to show you the sixth edition because I find it much more clear. Uh, uh, you choose which one you've been asked to work with. Okay. So, uh, depending on what you're citing, that tends to dictate how it's cited. So websites are all cited one way, books are another way, articles are another way, videos are different, lectures, and you can citing legal materials. Those are the main things that you will be citing. But if you have something that is not listed here, we have a whole book on citations. 
So if you cannot find it here, email me and we can figure it out together um, how it should be cited. And again, if you notice that we're going to work on things together, I won't tell you what the answer is. Okay, so let look the basic one most people book. So, and the reason I like this is that I find it very clear. Basically, you are looking at a formula. So you're going to fill in the author's name, last name, a comma, his initial period, initial period. Punctuation needs to be exact. You're going to put the year in brackets and then another period. You're going to put the title of the book, subtitle, edition if there is one, and then the location and the publisher. And it has to be in that order exactly as it is. You can see there's some other examples here if there's editors. So this would almost be like an anthology probably. Uh, online books, again, you might be using those since we seem to be getting more. A chapter in a book, a reference work with no author. So again, like I said, when you think about it, possibilities are endless, but these are the, the most used, most common. Okay, so for articles, it's going to be different because you're going to have the journal title and then you're going to have the article title, right? They're calling it periodical. You'll find many different names for it. So again, looks very similar. You're going to put your author, year, title of the article, and then title of the periodical, issue volume number if there is one, page numbers, and then DOI. This is a new kind of relevation that's come. Stands for Digital Object Identifier. Your instructor will let you know if you need to use that or not. A lot are not using it at this point in time. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of, um, and you can, the ones I'm just seeing, we're starting to run out of time. You can look at the website itself, but again, it'll give you basically a formula that you're going to follow. And plug the title in, periodical, et cetera, and you're done. It is not rocket science. Okay, I am uh, going, oh, I, in text, I must touch on in text. I mentioned them briefly. So th what we were talking about was like your bibliography. Uh, this is going to be when you're, oh, crap. When you're writing your paper, these are in-text citations. So to say, Walker in his uh, book of anthology or in his historical novel uh, talks about blah, blah, blah. Within the text, you're going to cite it there. So that's where you're going to do the Walker and then the brackets in 2007. Okay. And again, there's different things if it's one author, a group of authors, okay? And here we have an example of a paraphrase and a direct quotation and how it's done, okay? So with your in-text citations, you would also have, uh, in your bibliography or your work cited, you would have something that corresponds to this Walker 2007, but it would include the publisher, uh, the title, and all that other information that uh, I showed you earlier. Okay. So those are basically the two major ways of citing your sources the in-text, and the bibliography or work cited.
And I see I am not responding right now. Um, sorry, I seem to be a little stuck here. I'm a little frozen, it seems. What I'll talk to you about is, uh... Hi everyone, it's Britt. It looks like Michelle just lost connection, so we'll just give her a few more minutes to see if she can get back on and finish up. Thank you, Britt. Okay, so um, the website evaluation I briefly mentioned, uh, just be very careful. Anybody can do a website. You can look at that yourself. These are the research guides, the library guides. There would should be one for each course. What's it coming up with? Okay, so what came up was a website evaluation, so accuracy, authority. You can often tell by the domain whether it's a uh, government, Canadian, educational, or an organization, or commercial. Uh, so yeah, so how objective is it? What's the purpose? Is it current? And coverage and relevance. So those are the main things you want to look for when you're looking at a website. I seem to be going around and around. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Well, we can hear you, uh, oh, yes. Cook, but oh, good. Unfortunately, unfortunately <laughs> uh, whatever you are giving uh, as a layout uh, or, or visual, uh, we are not able to see that. Okay. It's Sorry about that. The system, or, or, or maybe because of the internet. Okay, uh, so these are the research guides I was telling you about. There's one for each course. You can look up your course. I'll just wait for those to come down. And then we're almost finished. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. Hi, Michelle. You just have to share your screen again. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Still learning. There we go. Okay, so uh, research guides is what I was trying to show you guys. Oh, right away, I didn't mention right away. Uh, it's a free online writing support service, so you can submit drafts and then they'll send them back to you. Um, so if you're having writing assignments, you can do that. Um, but again, you have to start early. Hi, Michelle. We still can't see your screen. Oh. Oh, I see. OK.
screen this time. <laughs> Entire screen. Allow. Don't know why it's being so slow. Oh, there we go. Allow. We can see now. Uh, there we go. I think I froze and I got kicked out. Okay, so <laughs> research guides will try this one more time. I think my computer's getting very tired. It's slowing down. But this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. Um, but again, and I'll look into that. Um, that is that. Look, that infringes, so that's not really possible. But we are allowed to do 10% of the book, so it's usually a chapter. Okay, this is just taking way too long. So I might actually, it's 12 o'clock now. Oh, of course it comes up. Um... You, you'll see there's a whole list. Like I said, it's alphabetical, every course. Uh, and it just has some different uh, ideas of database books, journals, and other resources that are pertinent to that uh, specific course. And there it goes. Okay. So just a quick example. We have reading and writing, finding books. Uh, so that's basically one search. Uh, academic search complete, I showed you that. Uh, we have some recommended books over here. Normally, Ask Away would be there. Uh, recommended books, recommended journal, and then, again, the recommended databases. So just uh, another way that you can find some more information on your course. Okay, and I'm going to stop sharing. Are there any other questions, Britt? Hey, yeah, there's just a couple questions in the chat. Go ahead. Um, I have a student who's just wondering where they go to get the online textbooks and how they pay for them. I believe they go to the bookstore. Um, now, I know in Terrace, it would be the bookstore. Um, Smithers, it would be the front office. Um, this is for online, though. Like, if they're buying Ooh. for their product. I would contact the bookstore on through email the bookstore. Okay, I'm going to add the link. I'm not sure quite how they're doing that. Is there anything else? Can't hear you. I'm just waiting for a link. I was just chatting with Charlie, our educational advisor on the Terrace campus, and she has let me know that um, on the bookstore, page on our website there's a link where you pick your books there and then you add them to your cart and check out right through the website so I'm just trying to find that link so I can add it in the chat for everyone 
Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was unaware of that. <laughs> Not my area of expertise. All right, I found the link, so I'm just going to add it to the chat for everyone. I did, thank you, Shar. We're just at five after 12. Is there any more questions that Michelle can answer for anyone before we wrap things up? And just remember, if anything comes to you later, just whip off an email to me. I think we're getting much better at communicating that way. Okay, is that good then? That's good. It looks like there's no more questions in the chat. Uh, Manpreet, I'm just well, seeing Rich, your question well, in the chat. Could you email Michelle? Do you have her email from the chat? It looks like that the, the chat is frozen. So even if you have uh, put the link in the chat, we aren't able to see. I'm not sure. At least I'm not able to see uh, to see that. Uh, I'm not sure about others. Uh... I can see the chat. I can, my email address is mcook, C-O-O-K, at coastmountaincollege.ca. No fancy spelling, it's pretty basic. <laughs> okay, Manpreet, I see your answer here, so... Um, then my advice would be to contact Michelle through email and you guys could chat about the books that way. Yep, that sounds good. And again, I'll just add her email to the chat one last time. And I was thinking uh, those overseas, uh, they're going to have to email us their um, student number, and then we would be able to email them their uh, library number and PIN. So there are going to have to be some workarounds that we're going to have to work on, but that's one way we can do that. So again, if anyone needs an email or a library card or library number, um, you can just email that email address at library at coastmountaincollege.ca or me. Okay, if there's nothing else. Yeah, it just looks like there's a couple of students who will be contacting you by email. Perfect. I'll be waiting for them. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for attending. Thank you, guys. And like I said, just email me if you have any issues, and we'll figure it out together. Awesome. Bye, everyone. I hope to see you in the rest of our sessions this week. Enjoy the rest of your orientations. Thank you. See you guys later. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Matt. And thanks, Britt. Thank you. All. Hey, okay, awesome.